Okay, welcome back to my pretend cooking show. Today we are making some shepherd's pie from um, Ireland. So let's get right on to it. The um, recipe I am using is from Genius Kitchen. I will have that link below. So the first step is to saute some carrots and some olive oil. So we are gonna move over to the, actually, we're gonna do this first. We're gonna put the potatoes, I have some boiling water already going. Um, so we're gonna put these in so they can cook while we're doing everything else. Okay, you really wanna watch out putting this in because water can splash. And as you can see. So I just used um, six potatoes because it just has like a large handful. Yeah, okay, so we're first gonna saute the carrots and um, some olive oil, add the onions, and we're seasoning with um, black pepper and um, thyme. So, let's do that. Add some light in here. There we go. Throw in some olive oil. Carrots and it's I think it's a cup of carrots and um a one large onion. Okay, that has to heat up. This is gonna take a minute or two and um I'll show you when I um, add onions. Okay guys, so now we're gonna add the onions. Uh, just one large onion. This is a lot of onions. I don't like onions. I might not even add all this. I'm not allowed to add I hate onions. That seems like so much onions. Okay, so we're gonna saute saute this for um, a minute or two. Probably more than a minute because I hate onions so badly. I I don't. Um, what are they? Um. Then we're gonna add the meat. Okay, so I am um, using lamb because that's how I ate it in Ireland. But a lot of um, people use ground beef, which is completely fine. I didn't have pepper pie with lamb in it, so I ate it over there. So, if you don't like lamb, use some ground beef. Okay, so I added the lamb to this. So, once you get this all broken apart, and it's a pound. Did I say it was a pound? Yeah. Well, if I didn't have it. Okay, so. Losing some lamb. I never actually cooked with lamb before. Have you? No. Oh no. Okay, so while we're doing this, you want to season with black pepper and thyme. I should have got a bigger sauce. Okay, so I forget the I think it's a teaspoon of black pepper and a tablespoon of thyme. Um, but um I don't measure. 
Change it. Right. And um, the recipe calls for like fresh. Oh my gosh! I'm the mess. I really need a bigger pan. Okay. Oh gosh. We're losing things. Maybe it's a good thing they lost this stuff. I'm trying to get the potatoes down the little bit slow. Okay, so time. So it says, this is a mess. This makes is a mess. Okay. I, I'm using dry thyme. I love thyme. Thyme and rosemary are like my favorite. Mm. So I noticed on the recipe, it doesn't say anything about doing anything with the potatoes. So, and, but it says that you could use microwave with potatoes. I've never had microwave potatoes before. Oh, they really touch my great potatoes. Have you had my great potatoes? Oh, are they good? Oh, okay. Never mind. I, apparently they're good. Okay, well, I'll show you when this is done so you don't have to watch me do this. Okay, so after the meat and stuff is all done and cooked, I think seasoned fine. Drain the fat. Okay, so then um, so then add add butter and um, and so the this recipe calls for peas. I hate peas. Add butter. It's like a tablespoon of butter. They love a tablespoon of butter. Um, and add um, the green beans. I'm using green beans as I said, because I hate peas. And it's like a cup of green beans or whatever you're using. You can use peas. Corn. My mom always used to make like just knock off shepherd's pie with corn and his ground beef and mashed potatoes and cheese. Mix that to the butter. It is all melted. Okay, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna take this over to the table, then I am going to beat the mashed potatoes. Drain the water. Um, to check if mashed potatoes, if potatoes are good to mash, stick a fork in them. If it can easily go in, they already. Okay, this isn't in the recipe, but I always add butter and milk to my mashed potatoes. I think everyone does. Mm. 
I don't think I have milk. Okay, found some milk. Pull a little bit in. That's it. <laughs> it's like my, my mixer. Pretty sure it's from the 80s. And it works perfectly fine. One, I'm using small bath because it's red wine. They said to use red wine. My favorite red wine is small bath. So, you know what? That's what I'm using. If you're wondering, if you ever cook with wine, one, never use cooking wine. Just don't do it. Just use regular wine. And usually the wine you cook with, if, if you're like me and you don't think I added too much wine. Okay, so. Um, if you're like me, uh, and like sometimes like I don't like, like I don't like pinots or like, I don't like reds in general. I'm a citrusy white girl. But, um, the one red I do like is Malbec. And, um, so that if I ever cook, if it says, oh, use a red one, I always use uh, Malbec, Malbec because it, common rule is the wine you cook with is the wine you drink with the meal. Like at home, if you don't know how to pair wines or anything, I don't. Okay, so we want to reduce this down a little bit. Then we're going to add some chicken stock. So. This is going to be a lot of reducing because I'll add a lot of wine. Okay, so. This is pretty reduced down. Okay, so when it's reduced down, I'm gonna add one cup chicken stock. Now, this like little mixture we're doing right now is to um, instead of making of using like a canned gravy or something, 
My cat's on this side. Oh, yep. She has an attitude. Okay. Instead of using um like a can of gravy, this is like we're making our own gravy. Okay. So I think this is gonna reduce down a little bit. So it's less um liquidy. And we're gonna put it in and um my uh film arena has to leave for work so i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna do so just in case if he has to leave and i can't show you i want to show you the final product and stuff like that though um so i think this has to re reduce down let's see yeah so you want this to reduce down so it's a thicker, like thicker like gravy. So we're not actually gonna turn this baby up. Um, so when that reaches us down, I have a big, um, you'll see it when I finish, when I show you the finished product. I wanna put that in there. The oven is already preheated for 400 caramel. And um, you can either just spoon the, the potatoes on, or you can pipe it. Um, the shepherd's pie I ate over there was piped, so I might, I might pipe it to make it look pretty. Um, and um, actually, uh, there's a picture of the shepherd's pie I actually ate. When I lived over there, there was a pub right across the street from my apartment. It's what authors, I'll, actually, I'll link that. I'll link the restaurant and they had shepherd's pie <sighs> it was heaven that's why I kind of picked to do this for Ireland so um and that's also in the gallery um you can find it um so I'm gonna pipe it and they said you can season it you can put some uh, parmesan cheese on it too I might do that but it's 400 for 20 minutes so I'll show you what's done